With the Bank of Canada deciding to hold its key interest rate at 5% at the end of January, 2024 is off to a promising start. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video for my advice for buyers and sellers in this current market. Roll the intro. We hit rock bottom in terms of sales last January in 2023, but despite this January starting off below the historic average, the market displays promising signs of progress. Over the next few months, I expect that the positive sentiment will become a little bit more contagious and we'll see a lot more buyers and sellers jumping back in the market. If we see the Bank of Canada lower the interest rates, hold on to your hats, everyone. With that in mind, let's take a look at last month's total sales. A total of 375 residential homes were sold through the MLS system in Waterloo Region in January, which is up over 25% compared to this time last year. So already, things are picking up. Total residential sales in January included 206 detached homes, 19 semis, 85 townhomes, and 56 condo units. So that gives us a good overview of activity. Let's take a look at prices. The average sale price for all residential properties in Waterloo Region was just over $762,000. This is essentially the same as January of 2023, but up over 3% compared to December. The average sale price for a detached home was just over $911,000, up 7.5% compared to December. The average price for a semi was just under $632,000. The average price for townhomes was just over $638,000. The average price for an apartment style condominium was just over $446,000. Down 10% compared to January of last year and down almost 9% compared to December 2023. Now let's wrap up with volume. In January, there are 720 new listings added to the MLS system in KW and area which is up 23.5% compared to January of last year, but down almost 4% compared to the previous 10-year average for January. There were 855 homes available for sale in an active status at the end of January. This is an increase of 33.4% compared to January of last year and 1.2% above the previous 10-year average of 865 listings for January. There were 1.5 months of inventory at the end of January. This is an increase of 50% compared to last year. The average number of days to sell in January was 33, compared to 25 days in January 2023, and a previous five-year average of 20 days. In my opinion, folks, the market has a number of factors that are influencing it, economical, psychological, but the biggest factor for me is, aside from affordability and interest rates, it's sentiment. How are people reacting to the market? Is real estate being portrayed as a sexy thing in the, in the news, or is it doom and gloom, the world's on fire? If you're paying attention to the media right now, you're seeing that shift in the narrative right now where, hey, we're gonna hold interest rates. Hey, they might lower interest rates. Hey, they're, they're even saying, hey, interest rate hikes aren't off the table. The reason they're saying that is, so all hell doesn't break loose and everybody doesn't just jump into the market right away. They're keeping that little flag in the back corner just in case so people don't get too excited. But I'm definitely seeing a, a sentiment change in the last few weeks where a lot more folks are calling me talking about buying, talking about putting their home up for sale, figuring out what the best time is to put their home up for sale in this market. And even the homes that we've had in our inventory or other homes that I've seen listed in Kitchener-Waterloo and Waterloo region that have been sitting for a few months, those homes are being scooped up and sold. Some of them are actually even going into multiple offers. So if you're thinking about selling your home in the spring, you might make sense to put your home up sooner there's low inventory right now. There's, uh, I mean, as typically there is at the beginning of the year, January, February, there's low inventory. Inventory slowly climbs into the spring market. But if you're listing in February, in March, there's less homes for sale than let's say in April or May, historically speaking. So if you're on the market, there's still buyers in that market. Anyone that's looking in the dead of winter, 
they're serious about buying a home, most of them, and they have less selection, which means your home gets more attention. So that's something to consider. Again, do what makes, makes the most sense for you and your situation. It might make sense to wait, who knows? Buyers, buyers, you really need to pay attention to this market because everybody, when prices were crazy, we're talking about prices are too high, prices are multiples, there's a million houses here, they're getting sold in three days or a week, and everyone's complaining. When the prices drop and the interest rates are high, you guys are complaining again. I'm sorry, it's, I'm not trying to be insensitive, but it's true. Now we're gonna see a shift. We're at the point now where as soon as they drop those rates, it's gonna be pandemonium. So if you're thinking about buying, it might make sense to consider making that decision sooner than later. Otherwise, you'll be chasing the market upward. Anyways, that's all for this month, folks. We'll see you next month. Take care, peace out.